Hello YouTube! It's the Geeky Minecrafter here bringing you another video. This one's unscripted and a little bit less about playing and a little bit more about some of the tools that are available to PC players. Today we're going to cover something called the Overviewer. So if you're ready, let's get started. You've been working on your world and it's getting pretty complicated. There are new structures, there are things that you have found, uh, look, I've got a new building over there. Uh, I've got um, a new farmhouse that I built over there. I'm getting ready to run a track between the farmhouse and the XP farm. So basically what I would want to do is explore this map pretty in detail. And if you know from looking at the map that Minecraft provides you, there's just not a lot of detail there. And I want to be able to really kind of dig in and see the detail. Well, there is a tool out there, so if you'll let me get home where it's safe and I don't have to worry about zombies coming up behind me while I'm not looking, um, I'll show you a tool that I found called Overviewer. Now, Overviewer is an application that runs Python, and don't panic. Um, you're going to be able to run this on Windows with no problem. Let's just get in here. And close out. Okay, so Overviewer is a Google style map. So when you see it like this, okay, you're able to zoom in, move around the map, and see the elements that you've built, see what's out there. And what I like about this is if you walk through an area, you might miss something, but the mapping software doesn't. Uh, it renders it in complete detail if, if you've got line of sight to it. Even if you don't physically look at it, it's got line of sight to it. That was one of the ways I found there's a village right over here. Okay, so this little symbol means my spawn point. So right as you spawn in, there's a village right up here. Now, I didn't discover it. I actually went this way around this mountain. I didn't discover it until later when I began using the Overviewer. Once I discovered it, I went back, lit it all up, put fencing around it, protected the villagers as much as I could, because this is a resource both for food getting started and uh, for trades down the line that I didn't want to lose. So let's take a look at what it takes to install and render maps using Overviewer. First, you can go to download overviewer or go to Google and type in download overviewer somebody mentioned it on a video and this is uh, this is how I knew to go looking for it I did find it at this location overviewer.org slash downloads I did download my version and I placed it in a folder where um, where my saves are let me show you my saves so Minecraft has a save folder that's in the roaming data. I just actually copied the Overviewer software here. Now I have a couple of worlds in here um, that I, you know, I play uh, locally, and then I have another world that I play um, on my server. I built a server so that uh, some friends and I could get together in in one world on the PC. Now you guys on the console, you guys have it great because you know you just connect online. You say you're online, you connect online, and you're playing a world together. The PC people have to <laughs> do a little bit more work. So I did get my server up and running, and uh, what I wanted to do was um, bring in a map view of all the work that we'd done on that server. And actually, that's the one you just saw, so we'll be replicating that. So you can place this folder anywhere you want. You just have to make a note of where it is. The reason you have to make a note is because you have to, when you're running a batch file, a batch file just says, hey, run this command and, and remember it so I don't have to remember everything I had to type. Okay, so to reiterate, you can put this anywhere you want. You just have to make a note of where that is. Copy that, and then we'll place it um, in the batch file that we use to call it. Now I do, I, again, I did 
shortened things up, made things easier for myself because, you know, this is something that I run pretty much every time I quit playing. I run the render. I, I ask it to go out and update the map so that I can view it very simply. Now, I created a folder on my desktop called Maps. You, of course, don't have to. What I did, though, was organize the, the four things that I call most frequently in here. I just put shortcuts in here. So, in other words, um, I created a batch file and then I put a shortcut to that batch file right here. Don't worry, I'm going to cover all this with you. So you've downloaded it, you've unzipped it, you've placed it somewhere on your hard drive and you've made a note of where that is. Uh, next up is writing the batch file that will call the overviewer render engine and tell it where your map is. Okay, what I've done is I've opened my render plane map, or batch file rather. I've opened it in brackets. Now this works in Notepad, Notepad++, whatever your text editor is. This just happens to be one that I use. Um, it does need four lines. Actually this last line is optional, but I do recommend it. Um, we're going to tell the operating system to turn the echoing off and basically that just means don't be chatty in the window. Next we're going to tell it where it's going to find the overview program, the exe file that you downloaded and unzipped and placed somewhere on your hard drive. You're going to tell it where to find it. Now there's another option if you're a little bit more advanced. Just add this location to your environment variable called path. Then all you need is just overviewer.exe it knows where to find it because it found it in the path, but that's a that's a different video, really. So if you'll place paste the uh, location where you copied it here, and then add this overviewer.exe space two dashes, and then this is what's called a attribute. We're basically telling overviewer to render the map using smooth lighting. Now this does take a bit more resources but I find the map itself is much more pleasing. The next little area after a space is where it can find the Minecraft save file. Now remember I told you I set up a uh, server that I play on and it's on a different machine. So that machine can see this machine so I just copy it to this machine's folder called long term. Uh, but again, what's in quotes here can be wherever your map, your saves are. Now as an example, um, this is my normal saves. Okay, so if I wanted to do the Geeky Minecrafter save, you know, the, the local version, I'd copy this path here and place it here. Okay? Next is another space. And finally, where do you want the map to be rendered to? Now, I have, um, have several maps that I've rendered, but in this case, G uh, GM for Geeky Minecrafter, this is the plain version. So I'm going to render it here. As you can see right now, I just have an index file. Um, it, that actually wasn't there. I just copied it in because I'm going to render it for you on camera. Um, so this is where we want it to live so and then we turn echo back on and we do a pause and exit so this is what's called a batch file and again this is you know you older guys and gals you remember DOS you remember you could run batch files to do complicated tasks or things that had really um, complicated instructions that you didn't want to have to remember you could put it in a batch file so you could run it now technically you can go to a command prompt and type all this in, but why on earth would you want to? So to run it, you would go to command and go to where you stored this and just type this name. Now there's an easier way, uh, and I'm not going to I'm not going to recommend you run it in the command prompt like this, but I will show you how briefly. Now remember where we saved it. Let's open that file location. 
So this file location, where we saved this batch file, this batch file right here, we save this to this folder. F downloads. So I would type F to go to the download or that that drive. I would type CD to change directory, and I would go to download. Within download, I'd go to online. Within online, I'd go to Minecraft. Within Minecraft Overviewer. Okay, so from here, we can see a number of files from, and one of them is our batch file. Okay, so I could just type render dash gm dash plane and it would run. Now again, I mentioned I'm not going to do it this way because this is, frankly, this is the long way and the only person who's going to want to do it this way are hardcore geeks like me <laughs> and I don't even want to. So there you go. One thing I did do, I mentioned that earlier in this video, was I took this shortcut or this batch file and I drug it into my maps folder. Uh, where'd we go? This one. I drug it into here so all I'd have to do is double click it and it would run. This is just a shortcut pointing to this batch file. So I'm going to give this a double click and it's going to open up the render engine that you got when you installed Overviewer and it's going to render the map into elements that are going to display. Now we can watch it create right over here. Are you seeing it create? So it's going to create more than one folder as it, well actually no, in this, in this one because we just did plain, it's just going to do the one. And this index file is going to point to all the content down here when it finishes. So there's some JavaScript that's running, there are some um, images that are going to be displayed on screen. And as you can see, this is going to take a little while. So I am going to pause the video for just a moment while it finishes rendering. I'll be right back. Okay, it's all done. And as you can see, it's, t it's let me know where the render was written to. And then it also put this press any key to continue. Remember that pause and exit that we put in? That's what uh, is causing that. So I like this because it lets me know when I walk back out, out to the computer, okay, this finished. And sometimes I, you know, you can forget that you ran it. So if you press any key, it will go away. And now we can open up the maps area, you know, the folder where we ask it to um, place it, its map. And remember, it was documents, maps, GM plane. So there's GM plane. And then if we just double click the index file, we're going to get the, the smooth lighting render. Now, as you'll notice, north is in the upper left quadrant. And as I zoom in, you always have this home character. This is where you spawned in. And as you can see, I spawned in right here. And I went back later and uh, I built this beacon so I'd be able to find it. I put some torches down to light my way back to where I'm, I'm putting in uh, my world. I even built a cabin. If, as I have people join my world, you know, I'd want to be able to offer them some refuge. So this is the render engine. As you can see, I'm just click dragging and then zooming in. And it's got quite a bit of detail uh, that's available here. And it's, it's, it's just an amazing feature. Now, because we ran it, ran it smooth lighting, and that was the only specification we gave it, I only have one map, one direction, with north always up here. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes I need a different look at things especially like like right here look at this I can't see the front of my house because it's on the other side of this mountain so I wanted uh, to find a way to look at this in a completely different method in other words I want to be able to flip north to the lower right instead of the upper left that's what this next section is going to be about overviewer allows for some customization some configuration if you will. Now don't let this long file scare you. It's broken down into very simple commands which I'll place in the description down below. Basically 
we're going to tell the overviewer where do we want our output. So when we use this configuration file, this is where it's going to put the map. We're going to tell it where to get the map, the Minecraft version. Now remember I mentioned I have a local version and a server version. So I just have to comment out whichever one I don't want and uncomment the one I do want. Now I do like uh, running the server version because that's where I'm doing all the new builds. Now this basically points to a series of commands that tells it what you want to render. In other words, I want to render the daytime version of the map called Geeky Minecrafter with a give it a title of day upper left or that's what UL stands for for me give it a render mode and then tell it what direction to do north now I've just repeated this a number of times for a number of different renders and let me show you what that gets you remember this is the one we did that was plain this is the one we did that has multiple views so as you can see let me dial in a little bit this is the day upper left version so north is in the upper left this is the day lower right version so I'm actually seeing the other side of the mountain okay I also have one for caves upper left and as you can see here's my mine we can drill in here and see um, the channels that I've cut the mining that I've done and I've I've been <laughs> I've been mining a lot just like our daytime version I also want my caves lower right and the main reason for doing this I, I have found underground is a bit is a bit more complicated uh, I'll give you an example right here I found a spawner right here okay and it looks real close to my base right if this is my base this is my carrots this is my wheat inside this is my new netherrack um, this looks very very close right caves upper left day upper left I'm gonna hover my mouse right here this is where it is but I can assure you that's not where it is so it's a little it's a little what's the word I'm looking for it's not <laughs> it's a little deceptive um, this could be levels lower levels higher now I do think it's between see this is the bottom of my mind see the rail track this is the bottom of the north-south cut mine and this is my base so it's between those two at a, at a height that is also between those two so I will go in and start digging but I have cut channels looking for it I have placed torches again trying to find where this is I came in thinking this was it but no I was wrong so anyway this is the overviewer with caves upper left caves upper right or lower right this is the nighttime view with north in the lower right and if we back out you can see I've lit up my little area okay this is the village I found this is my original spawn there's my new farmhouse there's the XP farm and there's my mountain and the various and sundry little buildings I've built there now this is night view which means we're only going to be seeing what's lit up by the torches okay let's see we've covered um, where to download it how to install it creating a basic batch file running that batch file creating the config file let's let's finish with that um, you're going to save this file as whatever name you want with an extension of dot py now remember these are Python commands that we're giving um, the Python engine that's running overviewer.com so each one of these renders gives us one of those little sections we had over here on this map okay day ul day lr caves ul caves lr night lr now i also have a version for the nether uh... which is oh my goodness every bit as confusing as the caves map and then some but it does kind of let you know when you have found a nether fortress for example i don't know what all of the um, symbols mean all of the different colors you know what kind of um, material it is now obviously this is lava and it's flowing into a lava pool 
but I'm curious why it's green on the top and then bright red on the bottom or bright orange on the bottom. So there's there's a a legend somewhere. I just haven't found it. Uh, I will be continuing to look for that. Now do you see that these have two sections? That was built here. See when I built the nether you did have to add one additional item, the dimension. You had Now the dimension is overworld unless you specify differently, but I could have placed on each one of these the additional dimension and called it overworld. Okay, that's just kind of redundant and not necessary. So when you do want to do your nether, you do need to place the dimension nether in here. And I do have two versions of the nether, upper left and lower right, just like I do on all the others. Save this file as a .py, give it any name you want, and create a new batch file. This is where it gets slightly different. Just like the other one, the first thing you're going to do is place the command line to run. So we want to run Overviewer from this location. And instead of the render mode, we're going to give it a config file. Dash dash config equal, and then in quotes, where it can find that py file you just created. So create it in Notepad or Note++ or you know whatever text editor you've got. Save it as whatever name you want. And then in your new batch file, the one that uses the config file, just point to that file. That's it. So let's recap uh, maps. Okay, I have two versions: a render for, that I use the Python for. This points to that batch file you just saw me editing. If I open the file location, you can see it right there. Render GM via Python. So when I double click it, it's going to render that map. Now this one's going to go very fast because I've already rendered this one. So as, as you can see, when you've rendered it, it goes very quickly. Now, if I had gone into the map and moved around into a new location, a location that I hadn't seen before, or I had built something new, then the render would have taken just a couple of minutes to render those new elements. And that's the good news. Once you render it th for the first time, subsequent renders only pull in what's changed. So I'm going to press Enter, close that up. So I think that's it. We've geeked out plenty so far. So I created a folder called Maps that I just put everything in to make it easy. You do not have to. You can go directly where you want to, uh, where you have it saved or where you have it uh, listed, and double click on it. So for example, to run the map, all I have to do is double click Index. I don't need a shortcut pointing me to that. I just find it convenient because this is something I use quite a bit, especially as I build new things or as I go into new areas. Now as you can see, I've <laughs> I've been out this way, I've crossed this little mesa, I went out quite a bit in the boat, ran into some problems, uh, couldn't see anything in the distance, now I probably gave up too soon, just turned around and came back. Uh, I've explored in a couple of different directions. In an upcoming video, I will be showing you another tool uh, to help you find areas or, or biomes if you will uh, because one of my goals is to find a bunch of packed ice I need packed ice for one of the XP farms that I want to create um, and I don't have any in my immediate area I've explored quite a ways out I've taken the horse in multiple directions now I did find some ice or, or rather some snow over here and some snow over here but that's not what I'm looking for I'm looking for some packed ice that comes in spires that's in at the biome where that where that is found and I don't have that here so stay tuned for that video I don't know if it'll be the next one but it will be soon because I do need some packed ice so thanks for watching this is the geeky minecrafter bringing you another video hope you enjoyed it if you did slap that like button for me helps me and my channel out really appreciate you so I'm signing out till next time happy mining